Nope. All right. Something's wrong with this socket. This one works. Yep. So I've got to take this apart and see what's going on in here. It doesn't feel quite right. So I don't know, something's broken in the switch. We'll see if I can replace that socket. Don't want to do any work with that plugged in. Let's see. Ooh, that was close. Now, I've got a replacement socket here. Let me open that up. I think these just press into the bottoms, yeah. All right, so you know what? I might be able just to change out the switch mechanism. Yeah, look at that. If I can just leave all that, I don't have to disconnect any of the, um, uh, you know, the base and the outside metal structure here. All right. What do we need to get this apart? Oh, yeah. Okay. That baby's tight. And what do we got here? Interesting. This actually looks like it's been taped to the cardboard sleeve, whereas this one, the new one I just bought, this separate sleeve, that acts as an insulator against the metal. This has been taped to it. See how that's all wrapped with tape and it's kind of connected here. So I need to decide how to take that apart. I'm going to cut that away since I have a replacement. There we go. Ah, and there's the screws that connect the wire to the socket. And notice how there's one gold screw and one silver screw. That designates which way to connect the wires. You want to connect the, the hot lead to the gold screw and the common lead to the silver screw. It, it makes sure that the switch is breaking the hot side instead of breaking the neutral side if you reverse it. There we go. So I want to keep track of which one goes on the gold screw. So this goes on the gold screw. Now, whenever you wrap wires around a, a screw on any kind of terminal, you want to wrap the wire around the, in the direction that you tighten the screw. So you tighten the screw by turning clockwise. So you wrap the wire around clockwise. Make sure it's bent under there really well, well engaged. And then we tighten it. The reason you do that is if you wrap it the opposite way, the wire has a tendency to want to push it out from under the screw. So this is kind of a, you know, a little trick that helps you not fight that problem. And let's see, we're going to put that one around the silver screw. Be sure that's well engaged.
clockwise around the screw. And tighten that up. Okay. Now, we put on our insulating sleeve. It's going to go in there. And then we're going to put the, the old shell over it. And snap this all back together. Make sure that's firm on there. Back up. Okay. Now we're going to screw that in. And we'll screw that one in. All right, it works. I'm good to go.